And we all know why we're here. So let's do it! Alright, welcome back folks. Thanks for coming in, tuning in again. Uh, we'll work on this old K guitar today. There's not much to it, but check everything out. Uh, measure everything, write it down. And put this, this knob back on it that came off. I was lucky to find that. And check the pickups and stuff, just see what it needs. Go over and see what it needs. And then I'll get back to the owner and see what he wants me to do. He said, just do whatever I've seen it needed done. So, uh, let's get right into it. Now, this little devil has a really tiny little screw in it. It's a flat screw. And I'm going to have to use one of these precision screwdrivers. I'm going to figure out how to get it open. I'm going to guess that one right there. Very tiny screw in that, man. I can barely see it. That's it. So what we got to do here, there's a flat spot on that thing. Okay. Tighten the screw up a little bit to find the, the flat spot. Sorry I can't give you a better picture. It's kind of <laughs> down here in a bad way. There we go. It's a three selector switch. One, two, three. You know, I'm wondering if that don't face up this way. I bet it does. And I'll tell you why, because, you know, when you flip, well, let me show you here, hold on. I can see to get it off now. Wow, it's hard to see back here. Yeah, I know I can get a light, I guess. <laughs> So you turn it around like this. Loosen the screw some more. I don't know if it'll work this way or not. No, it's not going to tighten up on there that way. So I had it right, I think, the way I had it. Yeah, it's not going to tighten up that way. So it does go the other way. The, the flat spot's right there. And I know that screw... It's got to go where the flat spot is. Now I can feel it set set into the flat spot. So that's that is the way it goes. You can't just turn it around and point it. I was going to point this part up that way. So like when you clicked it this way, it would be the front pickup, and if you click it back that way, it'd be the back one. But uh, I, I guess we're going to try it here in a minute. I guess that right there would be the front pickup. That'd be both of them. And that would be the rear one, the bridge. So hold on, and uh, well, I got a cord right here. If you zoom you out a wee little bit, let me use this remote so I don't have to walk over there. <laughs> uh, I've got a cord right here, it's already plugged in. I just want to see if the pickups even work. That amp, I'll have to find a clean setting on it. It's got presets built into them, and most of them are very noisy. Okay, I think I found one that works. All right. A lot of people don't like to check pickups like this. I'm going to turn everything wide open. And we'll start there. And that is only the neck pickup. That position should be both of them. It is. And that should only be the bridge and not this one. Okay, that works. Oh, there's something. These two jumps aren't doing anything. Yeah, there I heard something. That's that's really weird, man. That pot might be bad. 
works, but probably just things grounded better. This is a cool uh, guitar, man. It's like a from a different time. All right. I'm on the neck pickup now. I think. Let me check it again. Yeah. Okay, so. That's a different wiring than I've ever seen. <laughs> On modern guitars, they're not wired that way. These, this is the volume for this pickup, I think. No, this is the volume for the, the rear pickup. The rear pickup isn't even working. Wow, can't figure it out, man. Okay, these two are for the rear pickup. And these two should only be for this pickup here. That's the volume. Actually, that seems like the volume. This is the volume. This is the tone. Wow, that's all screwy. Screwy. Sure enough, man. Check this out. I'm on the uh, the neck pickup, okay? I gotta get in here and hit it. Okay, there's the volume, I guess. Yeah. The bottom one's a volume. Top one. It's treble. Let's see if the back one's wired that same way. There's treble. Top. And the bottom one's volume. Wow, that's funky, man. Never seen one wired like that before. <laughs> Alright, let's take some measurements on this jewel. This time capsule of a guitar. Let's do it! Oh, wait, 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 wait. Hold up. Uh, let me turn the amp off. I want to take this ashtray off and have a look at it. I'm going to have that same screwdriver again, I believe. I got tiny, tiny little screws in this thing. How are you all making it, man? What's been going on? I better get down there where I can see this puppy. Well, I can't even turn it with that. Well, I don't know if I can get a bigger screwdriver in there or not. Yeah, maybe it's what we need right here. If it fits, and it does fit. I hope everybody's doing well. I wish you nothing but the absolute very best. Folks, appreciate you coming here, hanging out with me. One screw's a Phillips, and one's a flat. Oh, I hope I got a Phillips that small here. I should have one laying right here. Oh, what is this? Yeah, that might fit it. It does. The old fender. Or well, not in fender, in this case it's a K. Ice tray. Check this out, man. It's got a wooden saddle here. I'll have to get you and bring you over here and show you this. It's pretty cool. Somebody has reworked that whole thing, man. I don't see any extra holes other than the two that uh, holds the ice tray cover on. But that, 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 it does have screws in the saddle. Wow, it might be tough to intonate that. And I can see a little turn in the uh, where the strings rest on top of the saddle. It kind of 
you know, it starts up here and then it kind of lays over as it comes across. Like they tried to intonate it. He might want to change that and put a something with adjustable saddles on there. I have to talk to him and see what he wants to do about that. Let me get you and I'll show you. We'll get you and then show it to you. Hold on. Check that outfit out, man. There's three screws back here. And there's a screw in the saddle here and another one over here. And I probably can't show you the way you're looking at it, the way it rolls over as it comes across here. This is more center and it the breakaway angle is closer to the neck as you come over here to intonate it, no doubt. Never seen a rig like that before, and I've never seen one wired like that before. The switch works okay. Maybe want to clean that. Wow! Stuck in there, man. I don't know if he wants to do anything to the frets or not. Let's look up here. Yeah, they got a little bit of wear on them. They do have. I don't know if you can see that. It ain't very bad though, man. It's not bad at all, really. There's a tiny bit on that one. Not very bad though. Wow, some ways. There's a whole bunch of frets with a tiny flat spot on them. There's somebody been bending a lot of strings. I don't know if the camera's getting that at that angle or not. Cool old guitar, man. Very cool. I just want to get some measurements here. And see what we're close to. Nut action. I've got an 18,000 here. That's just about... That's just about 18,000 exactly. It might be a tiny bit more. I can get it under that string. That one buzzes. The first string and third one is a tiny bit more than, well, they're all a tiny, tiny little bit more than 18,000, but not very much more. <laughs> I don't know how exact the owner of this guitar is. I'm going to slide that thing down here so I don't press any relief into the neck. Now I like, personally I like to see about ten thousandths on my electric guitars. And i got to get down here where I can see this man. I'm going to note all the way down here. Truss rod adjustment looks like it's up here it's got a cover on it. But I'm going to note all the way down here at the end of the last fret at the last fret and that neck has got more than ten thousandths. Alright, let's try a twelve. A twelve. Give me a ten and a two if you got one. Wow, I'm going to have to whip out my new ones, man. Well, she's right here is a twelve. These are getting hard to read, they're so old. And it's more than 12. That right there, adjusting that would make it play easier. I don't know why anyone would set that that high, really. I'm not even going to measure what it is, because it's too high, whatever it is. <laughs> At least it's higher than I like. I'll have to find out from the owner exactly what he has in mind for this guitar. All right, where do the action set? Looks like it's pretty high, man. I can see, I can see neck relief in that thing. 12 fret, fret high E string is four, five, six, sixty-fourths. That's a 12 fret. The low E string is 764s. Wow. 
I'm talking about that much relief in there. I dig this. It won't be that high down here. It's a uh, 564 on the last fret. And 664 here. So the action is lower here than it is here. And it's even higher in the center of the neck. I can see that truss rod needs adjusting in a bad way. And Lord have mercy. It's hard to tell how, how many years it's been since anybody been in there. So stay tuned for that. Anything could happen. I got, I say I got, I talked to the owner on this guitar. I was just looking at these, this saddle, the wooden saddle back here. I think those screws are to raise the entire saddle up and down with so you can set your uh, string action with that. That's what it looks like because the saddle itself is not sitting on the top of the guitar. It looks like there's, I don't know, there's a pretty good gap in between them. Wow, looks like maybe 40 thousandths, 30 thousandths difference. So obviously, you must be able to raise that and lower it. So you might be okay to leave that alone. I, I'm going to talk to him and see what he wants to do. See what kind of setup he likes, what gate strings he wants. And uh, before you go, we're going to look and see what gate strings on it. I meant to do that when I had you all over here. And I can't remember too good. You all know about that. Damn, I'm almost out of the picture, ain't it? All right, the high E string is no nine. The low E, let me get a hold of it, 44 looks like. Wow. 46 is what it is. Yeah, nine to 46 is what those strings are. This one there right now. Anyways, I'll get a hold of the owner and uh, Talk with him a little bit, see what all he wants to do. And I thought he wanted me to change a pot or something. That one pot, I told him I thought it was loose. The whole pot was loose in the guitar. And it might uh, break the solder joints off, but it's not. The, I don't know what you call it, the armature, I'm not sure what you would call it. It sticks up and the knob goes on. That is loose. Only on that one, only on that one front one. So we'll probably take, it, take this off the next time. Between uh, now and then I'll talk to him. But the next time we'll probably take his pick guard off and get in there. See what's happening with these knobs, man. The pots is way too high. Cheers. Thank you for watching. Uh, click a thumbs up if you dig it. And I'll be greatly appreciated. Greatly if you do that. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.